What happened when Vikings clashed with native Northern Americans? More than five centuries prior to Columbus' voyages of discovery, a party of Vikings under the leadership of Thorvald Eriksson established a small colony in the modern-day Newfoundland. Thorvald, the son of Erik the Red and brother of Leif Eriksson, landed in the New World sometime around 985 Common Era. The 50-member party eventually set up a fortified camp on the large island. Yet almost as soon as the Norsemen hauled their longboats into the beaches, fighting broke out with the local inhabitants. The Vikings dubbed their enemies Skarlings, which might translate as either barbarian or foreigner in an old Nusen tongue. It could also have meant weak, sickling or even false friend. A larger settlement was planted in what is now Newfoundland in 1010 by the Viking leader Thorfinn Karlsfinn. Nearly 150 newsmen, a number that included warriors and their families, established a colony near the previous settlement at what is today known as Longe Meduse. During their three years in North America, the visitor faced annihilation by the Skarplings' warriors. So great was the danger posed, Karlsefin forbid his men from trading swords and armor with the locals on the few occasions that the threat could be negotiated. It seemed even the smallest provocation could touch off a battle. According to Viking Sega, one indignous raid was precipitated when a bull escaped from the captivity of a news camp. Native warriors were terrified by the animal, the link of which they had never seen, and attacked the settlement. Two Vikings were killed in the ensuing melee. Despite everything the land had to offer there, they could be under constant threat of attack from its prior inhabitants. The colony was eventually abandoned. Europeans would not settle again anywhere in the New World until the late 15th century. Help spread the word. Share this article with your friends. Because your support means the world to me. Thank you for being a part of my journey.